here. We have an AC not working. You can see here the fan motor is trying to turn. At this point, we need to replace the fan motor. Remove your disconnect. If you touch the fan motor, it's going to be extremely hot. So before you start working on it, make sure that you let it cool off. Remove the screws that are holding the face plate of the fan motor down. Next, you'll need access to the contactor and the capacitor. So remove the panel. Once you remove the panel, you'll go ahead and just get access to the fan motor. And you'll want to follow the wires that are leading to the capacitor and the contactor and disconnect those wires. Once you remove your wires, go ahead and you can start feeding the lines through the unit. Once you pull the wires, you can start disassembling and assembling the new motor. Now make sure when you're purchasing your replacement that you either take the motor with you or take a picture of the tag so that they can get you um, the replacement that you need for your system. Now what I like to do is I like to lubricate where the shaft and the blade is so that when you're removing it, it'll help. You won't have to use excess force. Next, we're going to loosen our set screw. Go ahead and remove the blade from the shaft. It's not always going to be that easy. Most of the times you're gonna have a hard time removing the uh, fan blade from the shaft. So they do have specific tools that you can use to help you. This is a fan blade puller and I'll post this on another video Go ahead and remove the nuts that are fastening the fan motor to the faceplate. Once you finish, you're going to want to remove this sleeve so that you could use it when you install your new fan motor. So you can see here on the left is the new fan motor. On the right, we have the old fan motor. And you can see the wires on the new motor are much shorter than what was on the old motor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut from here take the, these wires from the old motor and just put it to extend the wires on the new motor again just pay attention to the wiring on my old fan motor I had one capacitor and you can see on this capacitor it does have prongs here for the fan sometimes you won't see this one and it'll just have look something like this just two prongs on this one that I pulled out Basically from the fan motor you have the brown going to fan You have the yellow going to the C terminal and then the black went to the contactor On my new fan motor. I have a yellow and purple wire and a green wire green is obviously going to be your ground I'll show you how to set that up later and These are going to be for reversible motors. So don't worry about those right now But you can still see here. We have four wires left now, because of the layout of my unit, I'm going to remove the brown and white wire. You see here it's brown, half brown and half white. And I'm only going to use these three wires. If you have the single capacitor like I do, then you'll just pretty much wire it the way I showed you. If you have two capacitors, like I said, this will be eliminated. It'll look like this. Then basically the brown wires will go to the smaller capacitor that goes to your fan motor. Because I have the single capacitor that has the terminal for the fan motor, I'm going to remove the brown and white wire. So you can see here I cut the brown and white wire because I don't need it. And then I insulate it with electrical tape and now I'm going to put the sleeve on my new fan motor. I just recently purchased uh, a wire terminal kit to reattach these wires. I'm going to be using my butt splice coupler. Obviously if you don't have that specific tool you can use a wire nut. Just make sure you use the correct size. You'll basic, basically take both ends and just wire nut them together and use electrical tape to kind of insulate it. Once you finish you basically just crimp it on both ends. 
Now we're going to connect our ground wire. And basically, you're just going to wrap it around the frame of the faceplate, and then you're going to put it on one of the uh, rods that are extending from the faceplate. There's your ground, and now we're going to fasten the nut onto the ground. Go ahead and reattach the rest of your nuts to your faceplate and to your fan motor. So here, I basically have taken the wires, uh, the yellow and the purple, these are the reversible wires, and basically I just wrapped it around the faceplate and then I connected it. Now what I'm doing is I'm actually cutting the rod slightly so that when I install the fan blade, I can bring it as close to the motor as possible. And you can see here, I just have some cutters. And basically, I just cut them right off. Now we're going to install the motor. Just to, just to mention this, you see here on the shaft, there's a flat portion. Uh, and this is just uh, basically an oval, a round shape. You wanna make sure when you put the blade on, that the set screw, when you fasten it, it fastens on the flat end. Make sure that you fasten the set screw nice and tight onto the shaft. And basically what you wanna do is you wanna just give it one nice turn to make sure you're not hitting anything. Now we're going to cut the shaft. Um, you can use different methods on cutting the shaft depending on what you have. Basically what I do is I use just enough where I can just break it off with my hand. Now we're ready to install the fan motor. Basically you're gonna install or you're gonna feed your wires back through so you can connect it to your capacitor and to your contactor. Black will go to the contactor. Your yellow will connect to your capacitor that has the marking C. The brown will go to the terminal labeled fan. Make sure when you put your new fan motor on that you install your sleeve correctly. Go ahead and tighten your screws. Now here you're going to see that we have um, wires here. What you want to do is you want to zip tie these wires so that there's no play when the system is on. Go ahead and install your panel. Now we're ready to turn the system on. I do want to mention before you turn the system on, because this is a reversible motor, when you turn the system on, you'll want to make sure that the air is blowing up towards you. Um, put your hand here, you'll feel air blowing up towards you. If it's not, if it's blowing down, you're simply going to want to disconnect these two wires and then just swap them. So you disconnect this, disconnect that, and then swap them. And that will reverse the motor to blow up in the proper position. Make sure that your thermostat is set to the auto um, position. Make sure that you've set the temperature where the system will turn on. And now you're going to basically just put the fuse in. If this video was a help, please subscribe.